Information shared on the following program is for general information purposes only. It does not constitute legal, tax, investment, or other advice, nor is it intended to recommend any particular investments, products, or financial instruments. Always seek advice from your financial advisor, attorney, or accountant with regard to investment, legal, or tax questions. The devil is in the details. Stay tuned to learn how to find him. Welcome to the only show in the country dedicated to helping savers worry less about money, The Worry-Free Retirement, with your host, the author of four books on retirement and offices in Bowling Green and Louisville, Kentucky, the money missionary himself, Tony Walker. Welcome to the Worry-Free Retirement, and yes, you're about to go on a journey of about 28 minutes or so into the land of savers, the wonderful world of being worry-free about your money. And with us in the studio is none other than America's favorite financial sidekick, Mr. Aaron Orander. Aaron, how are you doing today? Great. The, uh, the staff up here in Louisville, he's a little tired. The staff here in Louisville, I treated him yesterday to a Best Ball Golf Scramble, hosted by the Better Business Bureau. Incidentally, we are A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau, and very proud of that. Uh, but anyway, uh, Aaron, our newest addition, we need to talk briefly about my son-in-law, Trey, who's been working on a lot of our digital platforms. We're going to get into this devil in the details in just a second, folks. But speaking of details, we've got to cover some things here that we're trying to do to get out this message to help savers worry less about money. So first of all, Aaron, is Trey, does he seem like he knows what the heck he's doing? Okay, yeah. He's, so he's in charge, my son-in-law Trey, not only of learning this business, but also a lot of our social media. So in case you haven't noticed it, uh, we've got a Facebook page. We're posting a lot of stuff on there. So I would encourage you to go to Facebook. And then finally, something we decided to do. Uh, we have haphazardly over the years, and really it's pretty much been me. I'm just not sure what I want to put on, what I don't want to put on. But we now have a YouTube channel, YouTube. And you can go on there and literally, all you got to do is go to YouTube, type in Tony Walker Financial, and you're not going to believe the amount of video <laughs> that's on there. In fact, Trey, when he really got in and did a deep dive on this, and I said, Aaron, show Trey all the video we've gotten over the years it's crazy. There is a ton of stuff about every category you could imagine. So I would encourage you to watch. Uh, there are a lot of snippets, real quick, uh, kind of one-hitter lines for specific subjects, all the way down to 30-minute programs. So again, for those of you who enjoy this type of information, log on to YouTube and then type in Tony Walker Financial and also be sure to check out our Facebook page. A lot of information on there. Uh, now, after watching these in videos, here's something I would encourage you to do because the videos are on there not only for educational purposes, but we're looking to resonate with savers out there. Again, a saver is somebody who is more concerned with the return of their money than on it. And you're sitting there probably saying, well, Tony, I am tired of the same old, same old coming out of the financial world. I'm beginning to wonder if they care more about my money than they do care about me. If you're looking for just a fresh approach to money, I would encourage you to log on to our website uh, to visit with me in person, to call us on phone. Uh, I'd be happy to talk with you, respond to your emails. You want to log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com, click on the Contact Tony, or if you have a pressing financial need, click on that Meet with Tony button. Uh, keep in mind, there are no minimum account sizes to work with us. Uh, heck, no matter your age, uh, if you want to look at a safe and simple program to start, we can start stuff for less than the cost of a car payment. So again, get over to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. If you need to, feel free to call us 877-499-WALK. 877-499-WALK. All right, Aaron. Have you heard this famous saying? Let's get back to the topic of the show. Here we go. The devil is in the details. Have you heard it? He, oh, yeah, thumbs up. Now, do you know where this saying originated from? He says no, and you know what? I don't either. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. But after some quick Googling, my wife's always saying that. She acts like she knows everything now because she just says Google it. Well, that's a little, that didn't take a lot of effort, Susan. But anyway, the phrase, the devil is in the details, refers to a catch or a mysterious element hidden in the details, meaning that something might seem simple. Listen, might seem simple at first, glass, uh, first glance, but will take more effort and time 
to completely find out what in the heck is going on. That's the key. Seems simple at first. We see this in the financial world. People explain things. Ah, yeah, you can do this, do that. It sounds so simple. And then things don't turn out as expected. And then you have to go back and look at the details and they're saying, oh, well, yeah, but. You always hear that, yeah, but. Well, that's a bad sign. That means you didn't understand it. You probably got the short end of the stick. So today, when you think about this, you hear very little about even this term, the devil. And it appears that society is going to heck in a handbasket. No one ever considers all the evil and all the things going on. That No one ever considers that the devil may be behind all this chaos and they're blaming everybody else. In fact, uh, Aaron, did you ever watch when you were, I don't think you probably caught him. Did you ever hear of Flip Wilson, the famous comedian? Yeah, I used to watch Flip Wilson when I was younger and I love Flip Wilson. But this famous comedian used to make this famous gesture all the time when something bad would happen or he'd do something that wasn't maybe appropriate. He'd always say, the devil made me do it. Now, of course, I'm just kidding around here and I'm not blaming Flip Wilson for our lack of consideration of the devil. But it is a serious note. It's worth taking note that the devil is in these details. And this is why many of us are very, very confused about our finances. So we're going to get into the details of your money and we're going to explain to you, hopefully you've seen this in past shows, but why the financial world, I believe intentionally, makes this stuff so complicated. So in other words, we're trying to figure out where are the details of our money? How do we track our money? How do we monitor our progress? And much of this worrying that many of you are going through right now is because, number one, you don't know where to find the devil. And secondly, when you see these details, it scares you to death and usually you throw all this paperwork to the side. It's too complicated. Now, the Worry Free Retirement, one of the reasons I created the Worry Free Retirement, it's born out on this premise is, after 33 years of doing this, my goal is to keep things simple. In fact, uh, we mentioned Trey earlier. I'm trying to train Trey. And I said, Trey, a lot of this is just communication. If you cannot communicate things that are complex and simple terms with money, people are going to still worry. It doesn't matter how convinced you are of what's going on with the money and with the products and services you're offering. So if you can't figure out the details and you don't know where to find them, when it comes to your money, you're going to worry. Now, by the way, this comes up with lots of things nowadays. Uh, grab a cell phone bill, grab a phone bill, grab any kind of invoice, and you'll see all kinds of additions and layers of fees added on to these bills. It's become very complicated. So we realize that when people are charging us for things, we need to understand not only what the charge or fee is, but what in the heck are we getting for this service. Another person might be sitting there saying, Tony, now I'm figuring out what you're talking about. I've heard, my dad used to always say, you got to read the fine print. Same thing. Most of the details, most of the important stuff you need to know about is not in the big print, it's in the fine print. Now, in my book, grab a copy here, Don't Follow the Herd, my favorite book that I've written, quite frankly, one of the compliments I get that's most frequent is, Tony, I love how large the print is, the font size, because I can read it. And secondly, I, I love the way you've made this stuff so simple. In fact, because I'm feeling so frisky today, for the first five people that go to our website, TonyWalkerFinancial.com, the first five, click on the Contact Tony button. Okay, listen up. First five, Contact Tony. And tell us you want a free copy of the hardcover, Don't Follow the Herd. That book, Don't Follow the Herd. First five respondents, we need your full name and full mailing address. If you don't give us that, we're not going to mail the book because obviously we're, we don't, uh, we're, I'm not the amazing Kreskin here. We have to have full information. So it's TonyWalkerFinancial.com. First five, get a free copy of Don't Follow the Herd. All right, here's the problem, folks. When it comes to investing your money, there are four financial institutions that are vying for it. All right? So here are the four financial institutions. The government, and then let's just put beside that, taxes. That's how they get most of their money is through taxes on our money. The second financial institution is Wall Street and they butter their bread through fees. So let's put fees beside Wall Street. Then we have the banks, and actually they too charge fees plus interest. I uh, met a gentleman the other day and he said, Tony, and I mean, he admitted he was not the sharpest tool in the shed when it comes to money, but he said, this doesn't make sense to me why I'm even doing this. I've got a car loan at 3.9% over here at the credit union, and then I've got a plenty of money to pay it off, and the credit union's only paying me 0.5% on my money. 
uh, does that make sense that I have a car loan at 3.9 and they're only paying me 0.5? And I said, bingo, you got it. Makes no sense whatsoever. But again, that's how banks make money on our money. They charge us interest. And in many cases, I know this sounds crazy, they charge us interest on our money so we can put our money with them. I know. Aaron, why didn't we get in this business? Okay. And then finally, we have as our fourth institution, insurance companies. And they make their money on premiums. Now, we're not going to talk about annuities today, but a lot of times people forget this. People invest in annuities. Well, annuities are issued by insurance companies. Technically, the money you put with an annuity is not an investment. It is called a premium. And what you're doing is you're exchanging the risk of running out of money with an insurance company. You're giving them premium, and what they do is they guarantee you won't run out of money. But there is a cost. So all four of those have cost. And all four of those institutions are very, very good at making this stuff real complicated. In other words, they understand how to make the devil and put that devil in the details. So what we thought we would do over the next four weeks, or thereabouts, so don't hold me to this, but I thought we would just dive into each one institution per show and give you some examples of how they make so much money on our money and why many of you don't know how much money they're even making. Uh, incidentally, many of you might have heard or starting to hear about this fiduciary standard or best interest standard. The Department of Labor has ruled on this. It's taken effect here in just a few days. By the way, we're recording this on June 6th. 2017, we've been a fiduciary for years. So although we've had to make some changes, uh, everybody's having to make some changes, paying attorneys a lot of money right now, quite frankly, just to make legal changes and documents updated. But we've been a fiduciary for years. We've been disclosing our commissions and everything for years. We have no problem with any of this. But look at what an article that came out. Here's what's happening with this regulation. It's called In Whose Best Interest? It's a report from Sunvale, California-based Financial Engines, 2017 report. It says that 93% of Americans believe it's important that all financial advisors be legally required, which we are, to put clients' best interest first when providing retirement advice. Well, all of that sounds great, folks. But when we come back, I'm going to show you that many of these financial institutions, by this very law, in other words, now all of them are going to start requiring themselves to share with you information. And on the per per uh, surface, this says, Great, that's what I want. I want full disclosure. Well, you're getting ready to see how still complicated this is and why the worry-free retirement is the answer to simplifying your life and your money. When I come back, we're going to dive into this. This is going to be interesting stuff. If you have a 401k, IRA, thrift savings account, money in a brokerage account, I'm going to show you how to diagnose the fees and how in many cases we can save people hundreds, if not thousands of dollars a year on fees. You're listening to The Worry-Free Retirement. I'll be right back. Because of recent government regulations, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce predicts that over 7 million smaller investors may no longer receive the personal service from their advisor that they are accustomed to. I'm fiduciary Tony Walker, and regardless of whether you have 5,000 or 5 million to invest, we are here to serve you. In fact, let's meet soon to talk about our newest investment program, utilizing Charles Schwab as your custodian. There is no minimum account size to work with us. Log on now to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Okay, went a little long in that first segment. I apologize. This is really good stuff, folks. So we were talking a little bit about this DOL, or Department of Labor ruling, and the idea of making sure that everybody discloses their fees. Incidentally, this was supposed to help all these little small investors out there. Maybe that's you sitting there. Because of this ruling, because of this government intervention with this, which I'm in agreement with in theory, but it estimates, according to the Chamber of Commerce, that 7 million smaller investors will now lack access to personal advice. Now, we are not going to allow that to happen. At Tony Walker Financial, we do not have minimums. And for the cost of a car payment, I don't care what your age is, we can show you how to start beginning a journey towards a worry-free retirement. So in some ways, I hate to say that 7 million people are going to be without advisors, but we are here for you. We don't require half million dollars or even down to 50000 It doesn't matter. We are happy to try to help you. So again, log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and, and uh, let us know how we can help. All right. So we offer this free fee analysis service. And in fact, uh, Heather, who has been with me for years, 
let's put her email up, uh, Aaron. If you'd like to email Heather, it's heather at tonywalkerfinancial.com, heather at tonywalkerfinancial.com, and just basically tell her you would like a free fee analysis. Now, you are going to have to get us the full statements, all right? We can't, again, back to the amazing Kreskin idea. We, we can't read your mind. We have to see the statements and see the holdings. But I hold in my hand what we would provide you, and we'll do a tight shot of this, Aaron, if we can put this on the screen. But this is an example of what we did. We went through an account that was managed by a broker. Heather went through all of the funds. You can see tons and tons of funds and all these fees that we had to look up. Now, actually, these funds were pretty low in fees. Uh, not as low as ours, as you're going to see, but they're still pretty low. Plus, as you see down here on the right, on top of that, an average management fee of 1%. So if we total this up, this person on an account of just over $80,000 is paying every year 1.35%. So you got it? Kind of with me? Now the person wanted to move over to our new Charles Schwab platform. Incidentally, uh, I used Charles Schwab in the 90s when I used to manage money during the go-go 90s. So Charles Schwab is not affiliated with us. Charles Schwab is the custodian we use. Why do I use them? Because they are very, very good to work with for independent advisors such as myself. They have a great platform for us plus their fees are met next to nothing. So we are able to pick funds that meet certain criteria to keep the fees down, and then yours truly is personally managing those. If you're interested in looking at the Charles Schwab platform through Tony Walker Financial, log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Tell us that you're interested in reviewing your portfolio, mainly to see if we can save you money. So remember, on this particular account, they wanted to move their money over. We figured out, if you go down to the very bottom here, and you'll see liquidation fees, $428.60. That would be the cost to get out of this current brokerage account. Okay, we estimated that. But look at this. The fee savings in the first year alone on this account are over $553. So we've already picked up the liquidation fees. Then moving forward, we're saving them $553. And remember, this is a very low fee account we're comparing to, and we're still saving a lot of money. Uh, what if this was a half million dollar account? Now we're up in the, uh, what would that be? Be up in the $2,500, $3,000 a year savings. Met a lady the other day with an account with a large broker. When I looked into this, I thought, ma'am, this is ridiculous. They were charging for about a $600,000 account over $16,000 a year. Our fees would be about $4,000 a year. So a lot of people say, well, Tony, I'd like some extra money to give to my kids. I'd like some extra money to buy some of this overfunded life insurance. I'd like some extra money just to spend. Well, a lot of you are giving up a ton of money right there in your brokerage account. So again, this is very, very important to understand. Now, this was kind of funny. Somebody came in the other day, wanted me to look at their statements. I'll just read this to you. I don't think it has anybody's information on here, so we won't share it. But this came from the brokerage company that's managing the money. And it says, get more from your account statement. I'm like, no, let's get less. Get more? I mean, and if you go through here, this is what's really comical. Uh, I'll just show a wide shot of this, Aaron. All these little different circles, all this different stuff on here. Let me read some of this stuff. Can you imagine if you're a saver trying to do this? One, they have a progress summary to see how there's been a change in value. Two, there's a portfolio summary. Three, there's a cash flow summary, income summary, gain or loss summary, account profile, adjusted price, original cost, cost basis, all that's important. Uh, bond maturity schedule, additional information, cash and suite balances. Folks, this goes on and on and on. If you're a saver, you're thinking, my gosh, Tony, can you not boil that down? And we do that. Included in our Schwab platform is our own statements that we will send our clients quarterly. It'll have our fee disclosed exactly. There's not going to be any guesswork on what our fees are. A lot of times you can't even find these darn fees. And then secondly, you'll know exactly what the rate of return is on your account if you have it with us after our fees. So all that's laid out for you. Incidentally, I know this show is not about annuities, but um, I want to show you my annuity statement. If you're a saver, you definitely want to consider something I use called a fixed indexed annuity. Now, I'm not necessarily saying you should use this company. We'll try to white out some of this, but look how simple my statement is. Um, let's see, this is two years old now, and I've got several annuities like this. This is one statement I get a year. That's it. One page. My wife looked at this. She's a nurse. She's at one of these. She said, why wouldn't anybody want to do this, Tony? I can even understand it. So folks, it's very important to understand what you've got. And where that starts is a thorough understanding of how to dive into the devil and find these details. All right? So here's what I'm going to propose to you. Whether you have a brokerage account, a 401k, incidentally, we, uh, remind me here, we'll go over this next week. 
This is a plan document I got from a 401k. Look at this, folks, all these fees. Okay, it's all disclosed. The question is, can you find the devil in the details? Probably not. We can do that for you. So if you would like us to go through a free fee analysis, uh, let's just email Heather directly. It's heather at tonywalkerfinancial.com. Heather at tonywalkerfinancial.com. If you want me to meet to review your entire situation, not a problem. Log on to tonywalkerfinancial.com. Click on that meet with Tony button, or you can call us at the toll-free number listed on the screen. Well, as you can imagine, we always save time for the end of the show for what the Bible has to say about money. Does the Bible have anything to say about the devil? Well, now that's a silly question. I'm going to come back. Some really good stuff coming up, but first I got to get me a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Do you currently own an annuity or are you thinking about buying one? Well, if you don't have a game plan for that annuity and how to use and enjoy it properly, don't buy it. I'm Tony Walker. For the past 15 years, I've written nearly 2,000 annuities for savers. Learn why so many people are considering the advantage of having a worry-free retirement in place so you can better understand the annuity. To schedule a free personal meeting with me today, just simply log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Don't you owe it to yourself to get a second opinion? Oh yeah, another good cup of coffee on this uh, beautiful day in Louisville, Kentucky in our studios. Again, we're recording this show on June 6th. 2017. You know, earlier I mentioned that one of my books that I wrote some seven years ago, Don't Follow the Herd, while I was working on that book, I had stumbled across a book written by Joseph Campbell called The Hero with a Thousand Faces. The Hero with a Thousand Faces. And in it, Campbell talks about the concept of heroes. And he goes all the way back to even Moses. Think about the character of Moses a minute. And then working through Greek mythology characters, I might say all the way up to present day heroes. You know, we got this popular action movie out now, Wonder Woman. I like the old Wonder Woman, Linda Evans. I'll go see the new Wonder Woman. But you think about it with any hero, and even in your own life, if you think about things you've decided to do, there's really a pattern that Campbell talks about. So really there's this pattern that Campbell talks about. There is a villain. In this case, we've been talking about the devil, the devil in the details. But again, with heroes, the villain was needed to save the day. So we take a deeper dive and he talks about the three stages of the human development of a hero. First, there must be separation from the original norm. Okay, now we're talking about the Bible. You might even think, think about the par, uh, uh, parable of the prodigal son, for instance. I won't get into that one, but think about this. First, the hero in the making, we'll say, has to separate from the creature comforts they have, all right? When this hero separates, they then initiate or come into initiation or contact with a force greater than themselves. Maybe some of you Star Wars fans remember, was it Luke Skywalker? Who did he come in contact with? What was the little uh, Jedi? What was his name, Aaron? Huh? Yoda. Yoda. Okay, so there's an encounter, and that encounter totally changes the way they look at themselves, and then there's always a returning home. It's kind of interesting. In my book, Don't Follow the Herd, I created an imaginary figure named Wally World. And Wally wanted to be a teacher, but was tempted by Marty Millionaire to get into the financial world because he could make a lot of money for fear of staying out of the poorhouse. So Wally chases after money, OPM or other people's money, but then has a chance encounter with a farmer brown that gives Wally this simple information to not confuse the fact that cows are cows and people are people, which Wally at the time doesn't understand. Wally continues to make boatloads of money and gets to the end of his life and realizes there's something missing. And then it dawns on him, this encounter he had with Farmer Brown reminds him that there's something bigger than himself. He returns home, so to speak, stays in the financial world, but begins to work in the best interest of clients. So when it comes to the Bible, the Bible talks about the devil all the time. Let's forget Flip Wilson a minute. And we got to agree with him in a, in a sense. The devil does make us do things. He's a deceiver. He's a liar. He breeds fear. He casts doubt. He judges people. He assumes that nobody's worthy of God. He drags up the past. He points out our deficiencies. I see this in money all the time. People will come in over money and they are so guilt ridden over what they did not do with their money in the past. And folks, that is just a lie from the devil. You can't change the past. So how do you overcome this fact that the devil's in the details? And we'll drag up the details, many details we don't want to be reminded of. 
So what you have to do, first of all, with Scripture is don't make this so complicated. And secondly, we must quit fearing the devil and instead put a healthy fear in God. In fact, in uh, Psalms, let's go there, Aaron. In Psalms 25, 12, David talks about this magical verse. It's a great verse, and it simply says, What man is he that feareth the Lord? What man is he that feareth the Lord? And Jesus says the same thing, basically. He says, uh, Away with you, Satan, that's the devil, for it is written, listen, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only you shall serve. Now in Oswald Chambers' uh, devotional, go over here a minute, Chambers talks about this concept of being haunted by God. Now we're talking about a healthy fear like David had. Chambers says, let's read this, with God, nothing else can get in. No cares, no tribulation, no anxieties. He goes on to say that our Lord so emphasized the sin of worry that how can we utterly be unbelieving when God is so around us? Chambers says to be haunted by God, that is to put our fear in Him and not the devil, is to have an effective barricade against all the onslaughts of the enemy. So friend, let me encourage you, the next time you are filled with anxiety, with worry, the next time the devil starts throwing darts at you, brings up your past, casts doubt in the future, do what David did. Turn to God and fear Him. And I assure you, the goofy schemes of the devil will begin to dissipate. Well, how about you? Are you tired of trying to find the devil in the details in your money? Do you feel like maybe the worries that you have are a direct result of all of these details that you can't understand? And you don't know how to use your money? You don't know how to enjoy your money? Well, maybe the worry for retirement is the solution you've been looking for. The idea, the basic nature of the worry for retirement is to put you in control by minimizing all of these darn details. And I would love to meet with you in person or talk to you by phone and share with you more. By the way, we talked about fees earlier. If you'd like a free fee analysis of your brokerage account, your IRA, your 401k, we can do that at no cost or obligation. You have nothing to lose and possibly hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in savings and fees alone. So log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com. Do it today or call us at 877-499-WALK. And until next time, you've been watching the Worry-Free Retirement. I've enjoyed being with you. You make it a good day, and if all else fails, remember to be worry-free. Thank you for watching the Worry-Free Retirement with Tony Walker. If you need a safe and simple game plan for your retirement, log on to TonyWalkerFinancial.com and schedule a free, no-obligation meeting with Tony.